I've been sent a Breville traditional crepe maker for review. With Show Tuesday on the way, what better way to make some quick and easy pancakes for your family? As you can see, the crepe maker has a lovely non-stick surface. You plug it in as a simple on-off switch and a temperature control. It also comes with a manual filled with recipes and a utensil for spreading the batter on the maker. I had a go at making some pancakes using a very simple recipe. You use one cup of milk, one cup of flour, one egg and a little bit of vanilla essence. You put it in a bowl and whisk it together to make a lovely batter. Once the machine is up to temperature, the green light will switch off. You're meant to coat the top of the machine with a little bit of oil on some kitchen paper. I squirted some fry light. Once the green light's gone out, take a ladle full of your batter, pop it on the centre of your crepe maker and using the wooden utensil, try and spread it out. This does take a little bit of getting used to, as you can see my first attempt wasn't quite a perfect round. After about 45 seconds, you flip it over and cook the other side for about the same amount of time. So you can make crepes really easily. This was another attempt, as you can see, the more you have a go at it, the better it gets and the easier it is to spread out and the better shaped crepes you will have. These make lovely thin crepes, which pleases my other half because I usually make American style pancakes, which he finds a little bit too thick. As you can see, this is making a crepe in real time. So it is really easy and very fast. Just remember to keep the surface sprayed with a little bit of fry light or some oil in between the pancakes just to keep the surface lovely and um, non-stick so that the crepes can be lifted up easily with your non-stick fish slice. And then flip it over. No danger of any pancakes being tossed and being stuck to the ceiling here. And that's it. Your crepe is now ready to serve. My youngest likes chocolate spread on his. Um, myself and my OH are partial to some maple syrup. So there you go, roll it up, a nice little bit of fruit on the side, it's delicious. Mm. I also had a go at making some more American style fluffy pancakes. I had a go at making some unicorn pancakes where I added lots of edible sprinkles into my batter and then I cooked it onto the crepe maker in the same way. For the full recipe, you can visit my blog, details of which are below. Thank you for watching.